Hey, YouTube. Well, I want to talk a little bit about this, uh, my hero for the day. Hero for the day. This young guy, 19 years old. Uh, I think what they're saying is that he's the first openly gay uh, figure skater in the Olympics. Now, I'm sure, you know, it's like a lot of things. There have been other skaters that are gay. But this one here is bold enough to come out and, and be a first for us. So, I think it's great. Uh, this dude, Pence, of what I'm ashamed to say is from my home state, Indiana. He said, you know, you hurt me. I, I, I will not take, go in and take photo shoots with you. Pence wanted to meet this man. I guess he wanted to meet all the people on the team. And this kid is refusing to meet with him. His mother came online and was talking some stuff, trying to clean it up a little bit. Oh, he'll meet with him. It's just after the meet, whatever. No, the kid's taking a stand. Uh, Pence is one of this guy who I was amazed when he was picked for the vice president because he had almost closed down commerce in Indiana just months before that, before he, uh, Trump put him in there. So well, I was thinking, okay, the country has stood up and said, no, you're not gonna, we're not gonna allow you to pass this law that allow you to discriminate against people in Indiana based on your religious beliefs. Uh, you, your, your beliefs is somehow supposed to, those that negate my, my rights as a human being. And then he had to backtrack and change his little ruling or whatever thing that law he passed because people were so so um, offended by that and didn't allow it to happen. So I thought, oh, he's, he's committed an act of shame. The country has stood up against him. He had to change his ways. All that, you would think, all, you would think that he... Uh, not even be uh, uh, vote, voted as governor again there. Well, what happens? They make him the vice president of the United States. So I said, okay, so things are not moving as long as fast as I thought they were. So this kid was uh, bold enough to say, you mean that guy? He, he knows it. You affect these young people's lives. Young people, I think he's 19 years old, so he'd probably been about 18 when all this was happening, 17 when all this was happening. You affect that kid. These are people who are trying to come out to their parents. They're having difficulty with their parents, trying to make their hard-headed fathers understand. Some, Many of them being abandoned by their family, going through all this stuff that you have to go through as you're a, a, a per person coming out early in life, particularly the young people. We're just focusing on young people. And what, what he's saying is that you affected me and you hurt me. So perhaps this will make Pence uh, see that words do have consequences. So I hope this guy, this kid, uh, sticks to his guns. Will not meet with Pence. Everything is not about a photo shoot. But Pence was hurt by that. <laughs> also, Pence is one of the ones who wanted to, I think it was in 2000, supported the funding for uh, gay conversion therapy. People want to. <laughs> How in the hell are you going to live in the year 2018? And you, oh, I guess it happened in 2000, 18 years ago. You have not evolved enough to know that there, some people are gay. I mean, how long were you resisted based on this religious stuff? He was actually in support of, of conversion therapy. Funding for it. We'll give the government will give you money to change your sexuality, like it's supposed to be important to you. But that's where he was in in 2018. I don't know if he's claiming that he's not that way anymore. Or he's evolved or something like that. But to become a grown man and still have those ideas, it speaks to his character or lack thereof. Okay, so this kid is a figure skater. I don't. I don't I'm not really add into uh, to. Uh, sports and stuff like that but the olympics yeah, that can be a fun thing to watch so maybe we will get some of that in but i'm just very very it touched my heart see that young man stand up because now we got to take this pence dude seriously and remember who he is and what he is because it could very easily happen that trump will be for whatever reason removed from office that could happen i know people said no it won't happen no, that could very well happen. We're just scratching the surface of what we know about Trump. If something were to happen and that dude was removed from office, we'd be stuck 
with Mike Pence or the President of the United States. We should know who he is, what he stands for, and stand up, be counted. And maybe this man will grow some as he's exposed to more people outside of his little community. He was a governor, still believed those ideas, convergent therapy. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's just dumb. Uh, all right. All right. Best of luck to you. I hope he gets many ribbons, first place ribbons, Mr. Ripton, or Rip, Ripon, R I P P O N. Ripon, thumbs up to you, brother. All right. <laughs>